Lapland is a rough area with long cold winters and short intense summers, and yet the rivers are fairly prolific with insects. This is a Heptagenia mayfly, which is a common species in the mountainous regions. In the spinner stage, the insect has two tail filaments. The nymph has three. In these waters, an exact imitation is not necessary, and Morton's using an imitation in the same shape, size and colours as the natural. Morton's not seen rising fish, but this is a good spot for blind fishing with a dry fly. A backwater is created at the opposite bank with a lot of bubbles. Insects drifting by on the surface are often caught in the bubbles, and the fish take advantage of this as they regularly patrol these hot spots. A trout sucks down a fly, with a minimum of disturbance on the surface. Keeping a sharp eye on the fly is imperative between the many bubbles. Morton's still using the same imitation of the Heptagenia. There are no insects hatching and no fish rising, but earlier we saw fish rise to Heptagenids. Morton is slowly making his way upstream, fishing along the opposite bank where the water's a little deeper. We've moved to a nearby lake in Lapland. It's a grey and cool day with very little surface activity. On a day like this, a caddis imitation is a perfect choice. 
caddis are one of the most common species of aquatic insects, and in mountain lakes like this, they're a very important food item for trout. Caddis make a distinct wake as they skate across the surface. Caddis have a well-defined, characteristic profile which is easy to imitate. In this situation, Morton uses an imitation with wings tied of thin foam. The foam wings make the fly float very well. Even on a grey, cool day as this, the fish will search for food both on and just beneath the surface. Our underwater camera reveals fish in the area. Morton's fishing a spot where he knows fish migrate past. The fly is simply cast out at right angles and retrieved in both long and short pulls. The fish are now active on the surface. Yeah. Oh. 